Hey guys, I am Ashley Bratcher. Most of you know me from Unplanned, and I am so excited to be taking over the Everyday Mama account today. Can't wait to share my day with you. Follow along and see how it goes. This is mom life. I have tried to start this video three times now. I've taken my picture, I've run out of time, and now it's the real deal, I hope. I am in Buffalo, New York for Mom Talks. I have some really cool ladies to introduce you to. I'm gonna show you around right now. Hi, I'm Laura Vanderhoeven and I am here from Midland, Texas. I'm here to speak about uh, immigration and uh, um, uh, legal migration. And um, We all have mom brain. We're drinking our coffee right now. Yes. This is the real deal. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't, we can't wait. And I'm um, learning, uh, we're going to be uh, talking about the border and the importance of uh, supporting our conservative values. Awesome. Hi. Good morning. I had not heard of Abby Johnson before I auditioned, but when I got the script, I uh, had a couple of pages and all I really knew about Abby was that she worked at Planned Parenthood, but in those few pages, I knew that she was really charismatic and kind of feisty and fun. So after I learned about her story, that was when I looked her up and that was the first time that I was really rocked to my core because I heard her testimony. And if you haven't heard Abby Johnson's testimony, I encourage you to look it up. It's amazing. People ask me all the time this question, what was the hardest scene to shoot? And it was definitely by far the RU46 abortion pill scene, it's especially technically because that scene actually took a day and a half to shoot. So if you can just imagine the emotional toil that that can take on you to cry for a day and a half, it was pretty stressful. Um, and it was such a critical moment for Abby. I wanted to be as authentic as I possibly could. I am about to catch a flight back home. Today's been kind of crazy. I've been uh, speaking at Mom Talks in Buffalo. So I'm trying to squeeze in as many answers to questions as I can right now. This is one of my favorite questions. Uh, so the answer is, just this week, I have received personal confirmation that three different women who were planning to have abortions have seen unplanned or heard my testimony and chose life. Every risk I've had to take, every bit of pushback, every ugly tweet that I've read, I don't care because that makes it all worth it. This is why we did this movie. Trying to balance my family life with this career has been really difficult over the last year or so, so it's been critical that we have leaned into our relationship in Christ. One thing that I really learned um, to help make things easier was to figure out what my husband and my son's love languages are. So if you haven't read The Five Love Languages, I highly recommend reading that because then you can, you can check in with each other and make sure that you're meeting each other's emotional needs because that's what you really want to do to strengthen your marriage is make sure that you're giving each other what you need. It's not always about taking like what I need, but it's... Um, learning to serve your spouse like Jesus, learning to love your spouse like Jesus unconditionally, and supporting your spouse's call on their life even when it's really difficult because the kingdom reward is so great. There is this really awesome app called Parent Q, uh, Parent C-U-E, and it gives you uh, weekly insight on devotionals that you can do with your kids and how to talk to them about scripture. And I love this app so much because it's interactive. So it has a video that your kids are gonna like. Right, my son's nine years old and sometimes they have um, Lego stop motion videos and they're really well done. They're quality videos, the content is great. It's a great place to start your conversations and it uh, directly Thompson. correlates Thompson, with scripture. So it gives you a reference, it, te it tells you where to go in scripture and how to have conversations about it. So it's a really great starting place and we use it a lot. Prior to doing Unplanned, I thought that I was pro-life, but only in the sense that I thought, well, I'll never have an abortion, but, and I'd never encourage anyone else to, but I don't have a voice in uh, another woman's choice. The reality, though, is that's not being pro-life. That's justifying another woman's decision to take an innocent life, and there's really never a reason for that to be okay. Uh, and it wasn't until I did Unplanned that I learned 
what actually happens in an abortion procedure. I had no idea, no idea whatsoever what that procedure looked like. And for the first time, because of Abby's testimony, I understood the humanity of the child within the womb and that we're not protecting it. Then when I decided and we said, abortion is not an option for us, we're gonna have to figure this out. We created a person, we created a life, and we are gonna have to figure this out. And I remember posting that on Facebook, I finally had this moment where I was accepting it and I was excited. And people said to me, are you crazy? You're gonna throw away your whole career for this? And let me tell you something, if you do not stand beside the women who face crisis pregnancies and you stay silent, you are no better than the person who said that to me. <laughs> that being a mother is not a burden, but it's the most empowering thing you can ever do in your life. We have to stand beside these women. Life is precious, mm -hmm. and every single life has a purpose. Every single life has a purpose. They told me that I was risking my career, that I'd never work again. I know of three babies that are gonna live. Yes, yeah. What was it worth? <laughs>